We've been telling you on this program about the dangers of drones, but apparently we were underestimating the dangers. Now, why is that? Well, look, uh, we knew the counterproductive nature of drones as we killed more and more civilians, we created more and more people fighting back against us and uh, governments that are allies of ours as well. So it's counterproductive, it's also immoral, and by the way, it's also illegal, uh, especially when we kill civilians, uh, especially when we do signature strikes, which of course target people that we have no idea who they are, which is unbelievable. And by the way, we also target U.S. citizens. But you know all that, right? So why did we underestimate it? Well, it turns out we're not the only ones with drones. Oops. Fifty other countries have now developed drones, including China and Iran, and they have weaponized them. Oh boy. So, how many strikes have we done? Well, in uh, Pakistan, we have killed 2,341 people alone. Now, of course, we say that they are identified as Taliban and Al-Qaeda leaders. People on the ground say otherwise. And in fact, reporters say otherwise. At least 300 of those were civilians. And that's the most conservative estimate. Okay. And in Afghanistan, we have done 1,160 strike missions since 2009. Well, now we're not alone. Peter Singer, who's at the Brookings Institution, an expert on this, says that, oh boy, you have no idea what's coming with drones. He says, quote, it's a game-changing technology akin to gunpowder, the steam engine, the atomic bomb, opening up possibilities that were fiction a generation earlier, but also opening up perils that were unknown a generation ago. So those are pretty strong words, that this is going to be a complete and utter game changer in how warfare is done. Now understand this, not only do other countries have drones, but now apparently Hezbollah has drones. In fact, they flew a drone near an Israeli reactor earlier this year. Uh, experts believe that they were trying to see how close they can get to the nuclear reactor. How do you like drones now? I love that like our own guys are surprised like what other people are allowed to have them too damn it in fact there's a new Pentagon study let me quote that it says enemy drones could be a very serious threat to US aircraft carriers in the Pacific and elsewhere as well as to supply convoys and other combat combat support assets which have not had to deal with an airborne threat in generations in other words before we controlled the air, we had a complete monopoly over it, and that gave us an enormous advantage. But now, if everybody else has drones, and they are hard to control, and there could be a ton of them, all of a sudden, we might not lose an air fight, but could they bomb our convoys? Of course they could. Could they bomb our air aircraft carriers? Maybe they could. Iran has uh, drones that have a range of 1,250 miles. How far is, for example, Tel Aviv from Iran? 988 miles. So, uh-oh, we've got a big, big trouble ahead. So, here we go. The study, the Pentagon study, suggested armed drones are the equivalent of imp improvised explosive devices, the IEDs, a simple, cheap, and effective weapon which has forced the U.S. to spend billions of dollars in defense. In other words, not only can they be built fairly easily, but they're also cheap. And, for example, Iron Dome, which knocks down the rockets fired by Hamas, can't hit the drones. Disaster on top of disaster. All right, so now more explanation of what's happening. The U.S. and other countries are developing nano drones, tiny weapons designed to attack in swarms. Oopsie doopsie. If regular drones weren't bad enough, here comes a swarm of nano drones. And then what are you going to do? But we're not done yet. The Pentagon is fielding a new weapon called the Switchblade, a five and a half pound precision attack drone that can be carried and fired by one person, a capability sure to be envied by terrorists. So not only do other nations have them now? Not only have they weaponized them, but Hezbollah has them. Obviously, other groups like Hamas can have them. The Taliban could theoretically have them, and China could sell it to them, which is another thing that the Pentagon is worried about. And 
individual terrorists than can possibly launch a swarm of nano drones or even smaller objects that would be harder to control and harder to hit. Disaster on top of disaster. Peter Singer has one last quote here. This is a robotics revolution, but it's not just an American revolution. Everyone's involved, from Hezbollah to paparazzi. This is a revolution in which billions and trillions of dollars will be made. To stop it, you'd have to first stop science, and then business, and then war. In other words, good luck to you. The drones are coming. The drones are coming.